Okay, welcome everybody. I'm going to show you now how Pocket Change works. How can you use it um, from the latest Monerujo update? So here we are looking at the vendors of the receiver uh, Monerujo screen. Let's say there is an upcoming Monero conference maybe, and you want to set up a coffee shop there, or you're going to sell coffee. So here you have uh, your account. I have the two different accounts, but on this account, I am going to put everything that I earn from my coffee shop of my, or my coffee stand. So I call it Monero Cafe. And I want to receive here. I select, I can create many sub addresses, like one sub address for coffee, one sub address I can put it, I don't know, croissant, right? Or I can even put the croissant there. Oh, let's make it fancy. So I'm gonna, uh, right now I'm gonna create the QR code to receive coffees, for example. So the coffee is going to be three euros. And let's say it's a cortado. Right. So this is the QR code that I'm generating for this sub address, for this amount of XMR. And this is the description that it's going to have both for me and for the people scanning as default. Okay, and now let's go to my wallet. So this is the wallet from the from the point of view of the people sending, the one that is going to use pocket change, right? So this is my new wallet and I just sent myself one XMR to have it exchange for the weekend. Uh, going to be able to assist in, uh, I'm going to assist the conference and I want to spend on stuff, merchandising, whatever there, right? So, and I don't want to, to wait for 20 minutes before each purchase with the same wallet or not to be, uh, I don't want to be needing to sync like five different wallets with five different seeds and backups, stuff like that. So, this is what bucket change comes to solve. So I just send myself one XMR. So I have that amount, or let's just say I bought it from an ATM there. Uh, so now I am going to have to wait the 20 minutes to receive it. And here I have already the unlocked one XMR that I sent to my, to my wallet, the wallet that I'm going to be using for pocket change. So, as a reminder, you can use Pocket Change on any of your wallets. Uh, within the, we, if you just use it on one, it's all right. And in this case, I created a special account just to, for Pocket Change. But you can use it on your main one if it's just a daily spend wallet. So, what I'm going to do, to do now that I have one XMR is going to the settings, click on Pocket Change. It's going to be disabled by default. So I'm going to enable it i want to leave you can change the amount of every pocket so here it says that it's the default it says that it's going to create 10 10 coins 10 chunks 10 pieces of of moneros of 0 0.1 so i'm going to be able to spend 0 0.1 xmr which is roughly I don't know, like 15 dollars or something like that um the, today let's hope this doesn't age well um so 10 times right so I hit apply and then what i'm going to have to do is for the first time ever i'm going to have to send xmr somewhere so at the moment of sending monerujo will create the, that change right now since i only receive it uh, one xmr once I don't have any pocket change created. Monerujo is going to create it on the first um, on the first transaction that I do after I enable it, and then it's going to keep track of it afterwards as long as I don't um, as I don't disable it. So so let's create that first transaction, right? I will send it, whatever the amount is not important. I can even receive it myself. So let's say. Oh, let's just receive it on a, on a different sub address. Just put it here. 
and I will just send 0 0.1 whatever now it's going to prepare the transaction again this transaction could be to anybody else or uh, just to myself whatever it doesn't matter so here we say we see that the amount of the transaction is the 0 0.0001 whatever that I choose but it's going to create pocket change transaction for 0 0.9 because if I had even more XMR on this wallet it would be one XMR because now you have 10 empty pockets that you have to fill with 0 0.1 XMR each so it will use all that but since I don't have it as much here it's going to fill nine right nine pockets with 0 0.1 the fee that I'm going to pay for the transaction and the total that I'm going to be spending of course the only thing that I'm going to be spending in this case is the fee because the amount is going to be to arrive to myself so this is the first time that we will have to wait or hopefully it's the last time that we have to wait to see consecutive spending because now we have to wait for the 20 minutes that we always have to wait for the 0 0.9999988 XMR to be unlocked. So we will wait for those 20 minutes and after that it's going to be pocket change time. Okay, and this is in our, our wallet now. You can see that the whole thing arrived. So to be able to make this first pocket change enable wallet properly set up we wasted like I don't know 0 0.001 something so less than less than a cent um, less than a cent of a cent or something like that so uh, just as a side note if you go here to the transactions the details of the transaction that that created the pocket change no this is not this one uh, you can see that Okay, compared to a normal transaction that was coming in, it has just one, but this transaction has several destinations. All those destinations, all those transaction keys, and all those transfers are the ones that created the change. You have the first one, that's 0 0.0001, that we actually send somewhere, in this case to ourselves, but it could be just a normal purchase again. And then all the 0 0.1s that created uh, the first available change. So now I could spend almost like <laughs> at the same time though all those things, right? And if it's less than that, it's less than 0 0.1, more than one time. So let's show how it will look. Okay, and now we have our pocket change wallet ready to start spending buying those coffees. So let's see. I'm going to scan the QR code we generated before and we say here that it has the receiver filled in, the description of the Cortado filled in and the amount filled in. Let's confirm. Here we see that we have no pocket change whatsoever because we already used all that we could. And let's send. Good, we bought a Cortado. Yeah, but maybe, just maybe, we just realized that, uh, okay, I need two ones. So let's give it again. Normally you wouldn't be able to even do this. Let's do it again. Yeah, thank you for that. Just give me another coffee. So we have now two pending ones, waiting for the next block to, to be sync. And uh, here we say we see that normally we will have pretty much everything. We, we wouldn't be able to make the second one or I'll even start the second send. But also that we have here 0 0.15454 unconfirmed. But we still have 0 0.79 confirmed. So we could even wait for these blocks to happen or we can even I don't know make a new one maybe a friend of us just came nearby 
and say, can you buy my coffee and I give it to you later? Okay, we'll just say we trust our friend a lot. Just pen again. Done. Now we have three pending ones. And maybe we can wait. Let's see how it looks from the from the seller's perspective. And take a look at this. Just in the next block, two of those coffees got in and just one block afterwards, our cafe is started to sell some coffee. Let's see if more we can sell more coffee and let's see how many we can sell at the same time. Here we are, of three coffees. You can see here they were made at basically the same hour, like 445, 440, 443, 443 and 444 pm. Just just but we have we want to play like we are a whale. We we know that we are not a whale because we have only one XMR there. But let's see we try to invite everyone a coffee, as many coffees as we can just to show off and just to show off that we are so cool that we are using Monerujo and we can keep spending without waiting all the time let's just make a new one without even waiting let's make another one yeah why not um, all right, and since we are here, yeah, I don't want a cortado anymore, so let's use the same for practicality. Let's use the same address here, but let's buy some other thing. Let's say this is for a bagel. Yeah, we can even put the thing in there, and instead of being three. Maybe it's four. So we can see there is not the same amount. Why not? Yeah. So now we have three more pending. Let's do more. I still have 0 .0 0 0.4. Another coffee. Why not? More. Anybody else wants a coffee? Maybe you? More. Still three. Zero point three. Make cortado. Mm. Why not? I'm still having zero point two unlocked. And zero point six zero point six that is locked. Should we make another one? Why not? Spend, yeah, I'm sure. I'm buying coffee for everybody. Let's see how it looks from the other side. Would you take a look at my cafe? It's doing very well. Here we see that the first coffees that I sold already have two blocks confirmed. The rest have one block confirmed. And let's see what happens with these ones. They should confirm in the next two minutes, maybe. So here we can see the power of pocket change, so to speak. We were able to, to spend small amount of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times in just from 43 to 50 in just seven minutes. It really is very convenient and once you start using it you forget the whole thing about 
waiting for unlocked times. And of course I'm doing this with the official release of Monerujo. So this is actual Monero. I'm not spending it because I'm sending it to my, my other wallet. So luckily, yep, there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven transactions all of a sudden appeared. And of course on my side, we can see that all those coffees were, are confirmed and paid. And I still have 0 0.1 XMR just to be able to buy some stickers. So just let's buy some stickers to bring home. Yeah, stickers. Why not? How much are stickers? One euro? Maybe. Yeah, the stickers for the family, nice. So we can see here that we have made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten transactions, ten small transactions in less than, than ten minutes. And if it wasn't so extreme of a case, and if between the first ones, uh, 20 minutes has went by to the last ones, we could not even notice it that we ran out of unconfirmed funds. I mean, we are going to run out of funds before <laughs> we run out of confirmation, so to speak. So, uh, of course, we can tailor, remember that we can tailor the pocket change amounts here if you're going to make bigger, bigger expenses. For example, you can even make 10 pockets of one XMR that has to do with how much money we have, basically how much money we have on the wallet. But yeah, this is pocket change working. Thank you very much for watching this and thank you for everybody that supported the development of this feature. And we think it's super, super fun to use. And I dare you, you beat my, my record of buying 10 coffees on a row with the same Monero wallet on mobile.